Every year, more than a million Americans suffer from heart attacks. And most are caused by a narrowing of the arteries around the heart that supply blood. In today's Health Check, Delane Cleveland talks to a local man who survived a heart attack and how he's changed his life to ensure a healthier lifestyle. It was definitely enough of a wake-up call. 52-year-old David Erickson is a hard-working father of three grown children, and he considers himself to be in decent shape. Wasn't overweight, uh, you know, could work physically um, pretty good, although I would get winded. Uh, quickly. But last August, while he was out doing some landscaping work, he started feeling tired. Got a little bit of, of nauseous and decided I needed to sit down for a minute and that it would pass. Instead, the pain got worse. So he asked his son to drive him to the nearest emergency room. He ended up in an exam room at West Health in Plymouth. He looked like he had just showered with his clothes on. Dr. Nick Johnson is the medical director at West Health who treated David when he arrived. I just sat down next to his bedside and I said, I just want to let you know you're having a heart attack. And I remember uh, kind of laughing a little bit because it was pretty obvious. However, the fact that he didn't take an ambulance to get treatment was no laughing matter. Specifically, if you start driving yourself and, you know, I mean, a heart attack can cause you to pass out, uh, you know, you, may, you might not make it in. Dr. Johnson says the difference between life and death can be a matter of minutes. If you're feeling chest pain, the best advice always is to call 911 so a medical professional can see you right away. As for David, you know, a heart attack is really sneaky. After having lived through the ordeal, he has some words of advice. Well, the first thing is just just go in and have your have your heart checked uh, by your doctor. Check your cholesterol level. That's a very simple procedure. Today, David says he's living a healthier lifestyle, but he credits Dr. Johnson and the staff at West Health with saving his life. And on April 16th, he'll get to walk his daughter down the aisle at her wedding. And that's something I wouldn't have been able to do, um, you know, without, uh, without the intervention and, and what the doctors have done. So a lot of good reasons to, uh, to stay healthy and eat well and uh, take care of myself. In Plymouth, Delaney Cleveland, CCX News. Doctors recommend the best way to prevent a heart attack are to get regular checkups with a primary care physician and to know your cholesterol level and blood pressure.